Now I'm going to take you through the Accurip software. This is good for you Tribrid users for the Epson 4880. That is the Tribrid that can print sublimation, chromoblast, and also do your film outputs for screen printing. So basically this is the Accurip software right here. This will print your films for you and it will also process the halftones within your artwork. So as you can see over here on the right side it has a job history. If you want to reprocess a job all you have to do is right click it and then you can choose reprocess. Right now I'll take you over to the setup option. So it'll ask you what printer do you have. We're going to be printing through the Epson 4880. We're going to be printing with the rolls. So we've selected that, but you can print with sheets as well. You just have to select the sheet size and then uh, pick the exact size from the drop down. With the tribrid, you'll want to just have the light black box checked. You don't want to have anything else checked because we're going to be printing with that chrome blast black to make our films. And then down here for print resolution, we'll have it uh, choose the eight pass option since we're printing from one cartridge. If you need to adjust the droplet weight, you can if you want to go to heavy, but we recommend keeping it on medium. And now you can actually go to the option of how your printer is connected. We're just using a standard USB option, so that's how we're going to keep it on local. But if you did have this printer networked, you could choose that option as well. And then you can actually choose the options of how you want your screen to come out. We're going to be uh, choosing the round option for our uh, halftone shape, but you could do diamond or ellipses if you wanted to. We're going to keep it on 22.5 degrees as for the angle. If you change the angle from anything beyond that, you might come out with some pretty strange results. So we always recommend 22.5 for the angle. And then you can adjust the frequency. The higher the frequency, the smaller the halftone size is going to be. So all the settings look good. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go over to Corel and we'll just create some sample artwork so we can print out some separations. We'll go ahead and create three boxes. We'll go ahead and assign them random colors over here. We'll go ahead and overlap them just a little bit. So now what we'll do is we'll need to adjust the paper size. We're going to be printing with 17 inches wide. So that's the first thing we'll adjust. Make this a little bit larger. And then we'll also shrink the size down, bring it down to about 6 inches. And we'll put this right in the middle. Oops, let me select it all. There we go. So this is the image that we're going to use. Let's say we want to put it on a t-shirt. Now we're going to go ahead and print the separations through the Accurip software. So we'll go File, Print. We'll go ahead and go to the Accurip through the 4880. It'll ask if we want to adjust the paper automatically. We'll say yes. So now we'll go through the separations. We'll want to print the separations. And we'll just double check to see which Pantone colors are coming out. Now, when it's asking for black, that's actually going to be printing the outline of each shape. But we don't want to do that, so we'll uncheck the black right now. So we want to put the registration marks on there. So what we'll do is we'll put print registration marks. We'll take away the color calibration bar. And then we'll mark it to the objects. So now the last thing we have to do, we just have to hit Properties in Accurip, and go to Advanced, and then we just have to put the custom paper size. So you go to Postscript Custom Page Size, and we're going to adjust it to the size that we have up here. It'll be 17 by 6, so 17 by 6. We'll go ahead and hit OK. So now everything is good to go, and we're going to go ahead and print this through the Accurip software. The printer's working on the last film right now, but the first two have already come out. Just wanted to show you that it printed out with registration marks, and it was trimmed to the exact custom size that we specified in Corel by the Epson 4880. The 4880 has a paper trimmer inside that will cut the roll of paper to the exact size that you want on your film. Whoa.